Hi, I'm Sherry. I'm an Indian dyer and embroiderer living in the southwest of the UK in Devon. Um, welcome to my vloggy pod, which is basically a little short podcast um, and a little vlog at the end, which is really about how I like to live my life, which that said is pretty, like most people, uneventful at the moment, but um, a welcome. So the first thing, and I'll put all the links to my shop and social media and anything that I mention in the podcast will either go underneath or in my blog, which is sherryiris.com, which I should also put a link for underneath. So anyway, welcome. The first thing I wanted to say is a huge thank you to everybody who took part and is taking part in the Cow Parsley Stitch Along tutorial. And because I didn't expect that, I expected maybe just a few people that have been asking, but I've been quite blown away by how many people have taken part. And as I said, and if you're watching this months down the line, still take part, doesn't matter. Um, so it was to create something similar to this. This was just a little simple one. There is a pattern on my blog if you would like to copy it. Um, not of this one, similar to this. Um, and but you've gone off and some of you have done that and some of you have done something completely different and you've put it on to you put it in hoops my friend Karen has put it on um, an apron cozy corner quilts um, Sharon has put it down the side of an, of, of an embroidery, uh, embroidery sample that she's doing so I was at this point going to to show some of them but there are far more than I expected. So what I'm going to do is actually, I might try and insert a couple here, but I'll probably put them on my blog. I think that's the easiest way to do it. But thank you to, so some of the names that I've got down here, and I'm sorry if I miss you out. I've got Little Pink Canary, Crafty, Crafty Clegg, Crafty Clay Creations, that's it. I couldn't read my own writing, I do apologise, Crafty Clay Creations. Young Magpie, Carrie, Strawberry X Willow, Karen, as already said, my pal Gaynor, Tales from Cuckoo Land, who did a cracking cow parsley. Sharon, Christine Faye Gordon, um, Lizzie, who is Taffety Mouse, Thistle Sticks, Bowers4299, Crafty Seaside Girl. There were so many of you, but thank you, and thank you for tagging me. and. Sorry, that's my phone, which I will now put on silent. Um, I'm just overwhelmed, actually. That was really lovely, so I do apologise for that. So the other thing I just wanted to show you, which is something I'm always saying, is once you've done that, a few people, I've excused my pins on the outside of my bag, but you can go on, and a few people have already done this, to do perhaps lavender, because you can use the same stem stitch and French knots, be creative. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do apologize because once again, I've not really introduced that very well, but there is a little tutorial, which I will put a link to, which you can, if you would like to start embroidery, it's a nice start. So this is something that I've been doing in the week, which is taking it very slightly further. So just all that really is, is more of a subtle combination of colors and just more French knots. But the other thing that you can do, this will, this will be a bag. I'd love to see what you make from them as well, whether you keep them as um, in the hoop or whether you make things with them. Who is it who's already made a bag? Somebody's already made a bag, which is amazing. I can't remember, I'm sorry. The other thing you can do when the second stitch that I show is a reverse split stitch and that's what I've used here for this writing which I, if you can't see that clearly again I'll try and put an insert but that's a great stitch to use for writing as well so but don't worry with embroidery too much about learning stitches I think people get very hooked up about learning how to do them properly just go with it just enjoy it but thank you so much for taking part I am over the moon. The other thing that I wanted to say a big thank you to is for your support of our shop generally, which is amazing, uh, but also especially 
this week, uh, those of you who have bought the Flower Power yarn. So just if you don't know anything about Flower Power Fund, the Flower Power Fund was started by a lovely friend of mine, Sarah, who is, she's a doctor. Um, she is Sherlock underscore, underscore knits. And she, as well as being a wife, a mum, having two dogs, and having a very pressured job working. She's a, she's a doctor working in a hospice. So it's a pretty tough job that she has, but she still, despite all of these things, has the time to raise huge amounts of money for Marie Curie. And I'm just in awe of her, really. She had a slightly bonkers idea to raise money for Marie Curie. Um, it was a couple of years ago now. She's raised so much money. And we were very proud. We, because I say we, it's not just me doing this. It's my, myself and Christopher, who's my son. So we um, were very proud to do the May yarn for the Flower Power Fund. And this is the wild strawberries that we came up with. And I'll show you that in a second. We just renewed that so many times and you just kept buying it and it's actually currently sold out. And what we've decided to do is to process the yarns, the orders that we've already got. Once we know we've sort of got quite a few of those done, which will take us a week or two, probably a couple of weeks, we will relist the yarn if you didn't manage to get it first time on the, I think it's Friday the 22nd of May. Yes. And yeah, we'll relist it then. A lot of you, I've been chatting to Kay today actually, I've already bought this. These are the Village Fate socks. So this is a pattern by lovely Kay, who is the Bakery Bears. Who needs no introduction? I don't need to say anything else. Look at that that she's done. So this is um, Village Fate socks. And this was very much inspired by the maypole, and I was listening to her the other day. So the stitch along the back is the actual maypole, and the pattern going through the socks are the ribbons that you have. Um, they've got her umbrella toe, and she has actually used different yarns for the heel and toe. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the, did I even say? That's our yarn, so she's used the wild strawberries yarn. So that is available somewhere else as well, which I can't remember, but it's on Ravelry. And Kay is making a donation to the Flower Power Fund. Um, and I haven't said, have I? Because, oh my goodness, I'm not very good at this. Kay's already raised huge amounts of money, but go and buy that pattern. Not if you, you don't have to um, use this yarn, you can use any, any yarn, but go and buy Kay's pattern. That is supporting the flower power fund i didn't say five pound from every skein that we sell is going to mara curie now the other thing is we have dyed up um another skein to go with this which is a mohair so the reason we did this is we had quite a few people asking for coordinating skeins to go with it and or mohair and we thought probably the easiest thing would be mohair so we have dyed up the same colorway wild strawberries on mohair kid silk lace and that is going to go into the shop i think this evening now here's a confusing thing and there will be a five pound donation from that yarn to Tamara Curie. I'm not going to tell you how much we've raised yet because I think Sarah's probably going to say that, but we're so thrilled with the amount of money that we've raised. Now, this is where things get complicated in Sherry's world because I've spectacularly forgotten to bring it with me. But the artwork on the front of the label here was done by Christopher, who is Beard and Yarn on Instagram. 
and we're going to be selling a little notebook, a flower power notebook, similar to this one, which is a little one that we're selling with my embroidery notes. And it's similar, similar size, made in the same way, but it's going to have the uh, strawberry artwork and flower power underneath it. Spectacularly didn't bring it. And the little print, which again, I didn't bring. We're going to be selling that as a set and we're also going to be selling the mohair. Now, if you have already ordered this yarn and you would like to add on either the mohair or the little notebook and print, leave me a note when you check out just saying that you've already bought this yarn or perhaps you're going to buy the mohair and you didn't manage to get this first time and you want to get this later on in the month. Leave me a little note on the drop down saying either I've already bought this yarn or I'm hoping to buy this yarn, please can you hold it back? And what I'll do is I'll refund your postage on um, either the notebook or the mohair. Did that make any sense at all? What I'm trying to say is if you buy, if you end up buying two things separately, um, as with any yarn or anything you buy from the shop, I will always refund your postage if it's more because we never want to profit from postage. Has that thoroughly confused you? Now, the other thing, I don't know if she has any of these left in her shop at the moment. This is a little bag made by Annie OB Textiles. Little strawberry tab she's got there, look. That she did to coordinate with the yarn. How lovely is that? And again, there was a contribution to Marie Curie um, for this from the sale of every bag. I do know that she has sold out of this and I do know that she had another one that she also sold out of, but I do think she's going to try it. She can get some more of the fabric to put some more in. So, we're really hoping to raise, just in May, a nice lot of money from Marie Curie because I think at the moment when, oh, it's just an amazing cause and um, there is someone who we love very, very much who is um, going through a difficult time. So this is particularly poignant to us. So really pleased to help. So if you would like, to, after all that ramble, if you would like to, I've got myself all hot and bothered again, if you would like um, to buy the mohair, to support Flower Power Fund and Marie Curie. That will be going into the shop probably this evening. Um, the notebook and print, I'm not sure. And, and the, the normal sock yarn, the platinum sock, which is 75% um, Suposh Merino, 25% nylon, that will be going back into the shop on Friday the 22nd. That was a complete faff. So, um, just a little bit of normal shop news. A lady called Susan uh, messaged me last week and she said that she had been watching through the um, vloggy pods from the beginning and that she'd seen a bag on there that she really liked. And did I have any? Well, I didn't have any, but I did find the fabric. And, um, oh, oh, so I put a few in the shop on Friday. I've actually called this one I Must Have Flowers. Um, little tabs. Polka dot. Oh, little, it comes with a little um, matching lavender bag. Um, that comes with different colour polka dot. And also some little DPN cosies matching. I Must Have Flowers. You know that quote by Claude Monet, I must have flowers, always and always. Love that. Oh, yes, that's the other thing I was going to show you. My little flowers book, look at that. So I've been pressing lots and lots of flowers. But because I feel more connected to nature this year, strangely, even though I'm not getting out amongst it like I normally would, and I really miss my walks. We used to, particularly Christopher and I take a lot of walks. We get a lot of inspiration from our yarns from our walks. And because you can't drive anywhere to walk, 
although I'm still walking every day because we have to exercise the dogs anyway, it's not the same. So we're, I'm pressing a lot more flowers to sort of record nature and the clematis that we've got in our garden, which is definitely going to be a colourway, if you've seen it on my Instagram. Um, I just, I feel, my friend Nikki, Nikki at the Cottage, actually had a post where she was talking about the tulips finishing and I, I feel really quite sad when, when things stop flowering, which I know is really silly because as my clematis is finishing, my honeysuckle is starting, but I've got to wait a whole year for that again. And it, um, it, there I go again. But, uh, so I've been using, so I've been pressing flowers and keeping a note of what I picked when, specifically on flowers. I do keep a general nature diary anyway. And the last thing is a couple of books that I'm reading. So I've just started reading, literally page one, Little Women. This was a Christmas present um, from my sons at Christmas, just starting that, because I've got an absolute obsession with all things like that. That time period, clothes, and cooking lots from this book, which don't need to tell you, Don't Be All Over Veg. Very simple, nothing out there, nothing incredibly unusual or difficult which is what I love about it but just really nice simple recipes from um, a lot of um, store cupboard things that you'll have in your store cupboard there's nothing out there that's really complicated in it done quite a bit from that already that was oh that was actually a Christmas present to Christopher and I have nabbed that but been cooking quite a bit from that Anyway, that's again another complete waffle and ramble. There is a little vlog afterwards, quite a bit of cooking in there because um, cooking and sewing and, and, you know, enjoy. And thank you so much for coming along and listening to my waffle again. And I'll see you next week. Oh, and there's going to be another tutorial, which I completely forgot to tell you about, but I'll tell you about that next week. <laughs>